We all know gravity loads come through the double top plate, through the studs, through the mudsill, into the concrete below. But what about lateral loads, like wind and seismic? Those cause a few different things that we need to resist. One is racking, where the studs want to collapse like this. One is the entire wall assembly wanting to shear across the concrete. One is uplift, where the entire wall assembly wants to lift up. And finally, one is overturning, where one end wants to stay down and the whole assembly wants to go up. To resist racking, we nail sheathing across all the studs. Now, this wall assembly is very strong in this lateral direction. There's no way for these studs to rack. To combat that horizontal shear, we put anchor bolts through this top plate into the concrete. Those are either cast in place or epoxied in later. And those studs have enough surface area to prevent this whole thing from sliding across. Also on top of those anchor bolts, we put three inch by three inch square washer that gives us enough bearing surface to prevent that whole wall assembly from lifting up. Let's take a look at those. On this wall pier, we have two anchor bolts with three inch by three inch square washers. So that's keeping this whole assembly from sliding left and right and also from lifting straight up. Then the, the final thing we needed to resist was overturning. And overturning was where the wall assembly wants to tilt over one point, either this end or this end. The loads there are massive. So we have a few options. The first one is something like this strap style. This strap is cast in place and the nail to all the framing. We have one on here and one on the other end. So I can't overturn. Another style though, let's take a look at that. Is this an HDU. It has a long anchor bolt that's either cast in place or epoxied in place after the concrete's poured and then nailed to the framing. So we talked about a few of the lateral forces that we have to resist. One is wind, one is earthquakes, seismic. And we had the uplift that we had to resist with the anchor bolts and the square washers. We had racking that we had to resist by nailing sheathing to each stud. And finally, we had the overturning that we had to resist at each end with a hold down.